America, I know what you're thinking. Do we really need a recipe for baked potatoes? Well, here in the test kitchen, we baked over 200 pounds of spuds to discover that very answer. And today, I'm here with the expert, Elle, who's gonna show us why we do need a recipe. Bridget, some crazy things are happening in the world with baked potatoes, and it has to stop. Oh, no. Immediately. First, we're cooking our potatoes in the microwave. Not good, I've done it. Not good, I've done it too. Right. And it cooks unevenly, it cooks from the inside out. We also cook our potatoes in foil. I've done that too. And it traps in all of the moisture, and it doesn't give us a tasty potato. Mm -mm. And finally, when we do get it in the oven to bake it, we let it hang out on the counter forever, <laughs> and there's no fluffiness coming out of that potato no. at all. But they're great as doorstops. Absolutely. <laughs> Today we're gonna to do my favorite thing. One of the things we love to do in the test kitchen, we're gonna brine potatoes. We're gonna brine potatoes. Yes. You said brine potatoes. Okay, now I remember when we started brining beans a few mm -hmm. years ago, yes. and I was a little skeptical about that. It really works though, changes their structure and how they hold on to moisture, much like meat. But now we're brining potatoes. Yes, because not only do we want a delicious potato, we want the skin to be crispy and flavorful. Okay. I like to eat my whole potato. I don't know about you. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yep. Okay. So let's start brining. The first thing we're going to do is poke about six holes in these potatoes. i just do two on every side. And this is how we get it ready for the brine. Flavor's going to seep in. Steam's going to seep out. <laughs> That's a lot of things are going to happen. And russets are a perfect choice for baked potatoes because they're one of the highest starch content of all the potatoes. And higher the starch means fluffier potatoes. All right, now that we have our potatoes ready, we're gonna create our brine. So we have half a cup of water here, and we have two tablespoons of salt. We're also brining potatoes because it's very hard to season a potato just normally. The salt will roll right off. If we put it in water, it sticks to the potato. So I'm gonna transfer these potatoes to a wire rack. The wire rack will allow the potato to cook evenly from the bottom on all sides and the top. And also it's just easier to get it from the oven. We tested brining these potatoes for up to an hour and we found that just a few seconds in the brine works. So it's more about the skin than going inside the potato. Yes. Gotcha. All right, so now that we have our potatoes brined, we're gonna put them in the oven at 450 degrees. It's very important that we let them cook until they register at 205 degrees internal temperature. And that should take from 45 minutes to an hour. I love this, this is so test kitchen. We're actually looking for an internal temperature of potatoes now. First we brine them, now we temp them. Bridget, it's been 45 minutes and our potatoes are ready to pull. They actually look a little frosty. It's like the salt dried on them. You can actually see the salt crust. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious later. So we're going to temp our potatoes. Remember, we were looking for an internal temperature of 205. Temping the potato does two things. First, it lets us know that the potato is obviously done. Second, Pushing the thermometer in gives you a feel of the resistance. If it slides right in, you know it's ready to go. So we're at temp, and we're going to brush these potatoes with a tablespoon of vegetable oil. This is what's going to give us that nice, crispy skin in the end. We also found out that if we brushed the potatoes with oil prematurely, we got leathery skin. Because if it was put on too soon, the oil would have trapped that moisture in. Absolutely. So gotcha. it would have been kind of chewy on the inside and leathery on the out, just like another potato mistake. <laughs> and one thing you don't want to do, you know, I'm usually a butter advocate. You don't want to brush the baked potatoes with butter. Butter contains moisture, water in fact, and that water will actually sog out the crust. You may, however, if you have some on hand, brush it with a little rendered bacon fat mm -hmm. or goose fat or duck fat or any of those fats. So our oven is still at 450 degrees. We're gonna put these back in for 10 minutes just to give it that flash cooking that's gonna give us our crispy skin. Our potatoes only have a few more minutes in the oven. Let's throw together a quick topping to put on them. Fantastic. All right, so we have four ounces of goat cheese that I'm gonna smash up here. We're gonna put in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of parsley, one tablespoon of shallots, and a half a teaspoon of lemon zest. This is my favorite part. You know, I never would have thought of lemon zest on a baked potato, but it makes sense, because roasted potatoes, you add lemon zest to it. Why not a baked potato? Why not baked potatoes? Lemon zest adds a little zing to everything. Finally, we're just gonna season to taste with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's very flavorful, so it doesn't need a lot. Sometimes goat cheese is super salty and sometimes it's not very seasoned at all, so that's a really good idea. 
Mm-mm. And here's the taste part. Let's make sure it's good to go. Lovely. <laughs> Seasoned to L's taste. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I love it even more. That is pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna go grab these potatoes out of the oven. Oh, look how crisp those skins look. Very different from when they went in. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna tend to these potatoes immediately. We are not going to squeeze them to tell if they're ready because we tempt them at 205 degrees. And people think if they leave them here on the counter, these poked holes will let all the steam escape. Those are all false statements. You must attend to them immediately, cutting them open, letting that steam out, and getting your beautiful potato. When you cut that open, it sounded like a potato chip, you know it that? It did, because it was crispy. So we're just cutting an X across the top. Come on. Oh, give it a little squeeze. You can see all the steam coming out. Can oh, you yeah. imagine if that steam had stayed inside the potato? It has nowhere to escape, it just gets super dense. We got fluffy. You can smell them. We got crispy. We got flavor. Yeah. We got toppings. We've let's got eat. snacks. Yeah, let's eat. They are gorgeous. Fluffy, fluffy. And I know Elle loves me because she just shoved butter inside that baked potato. <laughs> All right, will you do the honors of the goat cheese? I sure will. Hot, hot. Oh. What does that remind me of? That texture. I mean, it's almost whipped. It's so light and airy. And it's actually soft all the way to the middle. That's impressive. I'm gonna tear a little bit of the skin here. I gotta try a piece. Mm. Really, really crisp. Very seasoned too. That was that brine. Who would have thought? What are we gonna brine next, the plates? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Elle, thank you so much. You totally owned baked potatoes today. It was my pleasure. Well, 200 pounds of spuds later, we know the way to foolproof baked potatoes. Poke a few holes in your high starch russet potatoes and dip them in salt water before baking to season the skin. Bake them to 205 degrees, then oil the skins and return them to the oven until super crisp. Finally, cut the potatoes open as soon as they're out of the oven to let excess steam escape. And there you have it, from our test kitchen to your kitchen. Proof that this old dog can learn a new trick or two, the very best baked potatoes. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.